In this video I will show you how to use Volatility 25 one second pip calculator. So you can see how you can use this pip calculator to enter the entry level, stop loss and take profit to calculate those values in US dollar. I will show you a few examples of a buy and sell order and you will see how to change the values directly on the chart and also trading platform. I'm using MetaTrader 5 from the Derek Broker who has all these synthetic indices available here in the market watch. You will also have in the description below the video a link to this pip calculator so you can simply go to get your trading website and open the pip calculator and you will also get a link for downloading this PDF with the synthetic indices pip value table. This PDF has all the, all the information that you need for all the volatility and also synthetic indices for trading where you can see the contract size, the minimum volume, maximum volume size and also the pip value. You will also have other details how to calculate this pip value with the formula and also you will see all other details that are available with the trading examples. So let's move forward. First, let me show you the PIP calculator and which fields does it have. So above on the top, you have a PIP value in US dollars. When you click calculate, you get the value here. Below that, you have a symbol and you have a drop down menu to select any other symbol if you would like. But for this video, for this lesson, I will have volatility 25 one second index. You have a volume field where you enter the volume or the lot size. It is the same. You put here what is desired volume and click calculate. I will put one here because I would like to have one standard lot to calculate the pip value. And then you have a contract size which is defined by the broker for this synthetic index. So it is volatility 25 one second, it is defined that the contract size is one. If you have any other broker, you need to ask him what is the contract size so the calculation is correct. Then you have a point value and that means what is the pip in the price? So we have here a 0 0.01, which is two decimal points. When you go here to the chart and you can see that the price has also two decimal points. That means that when the price changed by 0 0.01, that is changed by one pip. So if you put here 0 0.01, which is one pip, click calculate, you get that the value for one pip is 0 0.01 dollar. If the price changes on the chart by 0.01, it means the price will change by 0.01 dollar. If you would ch like to change that, so the price doesn't change for, uh, uh, for example, 0.01 dollar, put here the volume, click calculate, and this would make that when the price change by 0.01, you would get change by 0.1 dollars. So this is the way how you can influence on, on the pip value. Below that you have the entry price, stop loss, take profit fields where you can enter these values before opening in order to calculate what would be the stop loss and take profit in US dollars. I will show you that example. Let's see on the chart the price is moving down. Let's put this one here. Okay, and let's put this one also here. We can see that the price is heading down and we would like, for example, open order at the current market price and we are expecting that the price will go down and, for example, reach this price level. But we would like also to put stop loss just above these highs. So we are expecting if the price goes up, the trade will close with this price level. But how much of money would that be? Simply go here, say, enter the entry price, which is this price level, it is 4348468.43. Stop loss would be the one above 4381632.06. And the take profit would be this one below that. It is 427789.77. Simply click calculate you get the price difference for the stop loss and the take profit difference. So how much money would that be? Simply copy this value here into point value, click calculate. So if you open a trade with the volume one on the volatility 25 one second index with these levels, you will get a stop loss equal to $3,316.63. Take profit, 
would be this one, $7,000. So if you are satisfied, satisfied with that, you can simply open an order. Let's click new order. Here, the symbol is already defined. The volume we set to one because we have here one and put stop loss, simply copy paste this one, take profit this one and click sell because we are expecting that the price will go down. Sell by the market. Now let's copy this entry price because it is different than we have defined for 35162.42. Click calculate and let's copy this stop loss. So we would have a stop loss equal to $3,000. Now let's remove these horizontal lines so we can see a stop loss level and take profit level. Put your mouse here on this line and you can see the profit would be minus $3,064. It is the same value that we got here. Let's take it for the profit, 7,372. Let's copy paste this one here and the price is, is the same. 7372.65. Now you can see how you can use this pip calculator to calculate the stop loss and take profit level before opening an order. If you are satisfied with these values in the pip calculator, simply open the order here. If you are not satisfied, change something and that means, for example, change the volume. Let's close this order and let's open one buy order just as an example. But before that, let's put these values here so we can calculate what it would be. The stop loss would be just below this one. And we are expecting that the price could go up and reach, for example, this price level. So how much money would that be for the take profit and for the stop loss? Simply copy the values here. 43519.26. Stop loss would be below 433364.53. And the take profit would be 442044.23. Click calculate. And this is the stop loss take profit difference. Let's copy stop loss, put it here where the point value is, click calculate, and we get the pip value 1834.73 dollars. So if you are satisfied with this, you simply open a trade with stop loss take profit equal to this one. But if you're not satisfied, if it is too much, you can simply change the volume. For example, let's put 0.1. This would bring us $183.47. If you're satisfied with that, great. Let's put this value here. Uh, let's open new order. Change this one to 0.1 because we would like to have volume equal to 0.1. Then copy stop loss level and copy take profit level and click buy because we are expecting that the price will go up here it is now we need to change only this one the entry price because it is slightly different than we have defined before 435430.79 click calculate and this is the value for the stop loss copy it here click calculate and you would get that the stop loss would be equal to $206.63. Now let's check on the trading platform, is it the same? Take profit, stop loss would be below. 206.63, it is the same value. Let's check for the take profit. Calculate, 661.34. Let's check it here. It is the same one. You can see that we have the same price value on the trade like on the pip calculator. You can see how to use that. So if you, if you would like to change the values, simply change the volume and you will change also the value of a pip. If you put here 0 0.123, sorry, 1, 2, click calculate, you will get a different price level. Okay, this is the way how you can use the pip calculator for the volatility 25 one second index. If you have any questions regarding the PIP calculator or you would like me to cover something else, please leave a comment and I will try my best to make another video on your question. And if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading!